Hi everyone, and nice to meet you. I'm Geoffrey, a machine learning engineer from Hugging Face. And today I'm here to talk to you about Gemma and now you can put it in production using our tools. So I guess most of you are already familiar with Hugging Face, but let me do a quick reminder. Hugging Face is a platform on which model builders share their model, their data sets, and their amazing AI demos. We just crossed two amazing milestones. The first one being one million open models shared on the hub, and the second one being five million registered users. So thank you for the community to do that. Uh, your first encounter with Hugging Face was probably uh, as a developer to the Transformers library, but indeed, there's many more. We have PEFT to fine tune your model that goes hand in hand with TRL to further align your model to your use case, uh, diffusers to generate some images, accelerate for hardware optimization, and in fact, many more. But today, uh, the talk is about production. So why would you use an open source model in production? Or in production? Uh, for my interaction with my client, I see two use cases. The first one would be customization, and the second one would be cost effectiveness. On customization, while Gemma 2 is a very strong model, uh, considering its size, where it really shines, it's once it is fine-tuned on a specific domain. You might decide to do a coding expert Gemma, fine-tuning on a new language, or even a new domain. To do so, in the Hugging Face ecosystem, you would use PEFT, which stands for Parameter Efficient Fine Tuning. The easiest way to get started would be to use LoRa adapters. Can you raise your hand if you uh, used LoRa adapters recently to fine tune a model? Okay, quite some. Uh, for those who haven't, um, LoRa adapters are small uh, rank matrices that you can attach onto a, a base model. So um, whenever you are training uh, your model, your base model is frozen and you're only training the adapter itself. Uh, what makes this technique really good is if uh, coupled with quantization, you get a training that is much more cost effective. Um, you can easily attach and detach the adapter and you can share the adapter on hugging face, which is the best part. On the cost side, API models are usually priced by number of tokens, while open source model is priced by the hardware you're running the model on. So if you are having an intensive usage, running your model on uh, an hardware is becoming much more cost efficient. There's something that backs that up. We saw LoRa uh, on TGI, which is our library to uh, serve some models. We have a technique called multi-LoRa. On one base model, you can attach as many LoRa adapters as you wish, meaning that uh, you can uh, tap into the base model or any of the adapter uh, that you deploy on one single endpoint. So it's really amazing. For this demo, I trained uh, a few models. Since I'll be staying in Japan for a little bit, I trained a LoRa adapter on Gemma 2.2b that does Japanese to English translation, a function calling that can, uh, has been trained with some yen to euro conversion, uh, and your classical coding expert and SQL experts. So how do you uh, deploy that into GCP? Because here you're Google developers. Uh, the easiest way would be to go with Vertex AI. Actually, the implementation of Vertex AI into the hub is really straightforward. In just a few clicks, on any of the model page, you can see that you can deploy and you have a Google Cloud option. Um, on a few of end-picked model, this will bring you directly to your own Vertex AI instance. Uh, there's, you can also leverage our latest collaboration with Google Cloud and find some of the uh, Hugging Face model directly into the model garden of Vertex AI. You can see that there is some LLMs, there's some diffusers, as well as some encoders. The technology backing that up is the uh, deep learning containers for Google Cloud. Those are a list of container type solution that we make available for developers. Uh, so you can see that there's PyTorch for training, PyTorch for inference, text embedding inference for uh, streaming and getting uh, embeddings, and our star of today, TGI, to get tokens out of an LLM. So, there's another option. 
if, you, if I had to talk a little bit about TGI, TGI stands for Text Generation Inference. It's our solution to deploy an LLM into production and serve it. Uh, it is a Docker uh, image that comes with very convenient pre-built features. For instance, we have already constraint generation. Uh, if you know outlines, this is, uh, this is it. Um, to generate a JSON from a PyDentic definition or even a regex. This is already available for any model that uh, supports that. Um, we built an example on how you can deploy uh, Gemma 2 2B with multiple LoRa adapter onto your Google Kubernetes engines. Uh, this is a very straightforward demo that you can find either on Hugging Face or uh, on the Hugging Face GitHub. Once you have followed the, the demo, you end up with a URL. So here I did some port forwarding, so that's why it's local host, uh, but and, and an open port. You can directly get tokens out of that um, instance of TGI from the inference client from Hugging Face Hub. You can have a prompt, and here the important part is the adapter ID. The adapter ID here that I'm tapping into is the Japanese to English translation. You can leave it blank if you want to hit the base model, but since I deployed four models, this time on this specific example, I chose to hit the Japanese to English translator. And as we can see, it says, welcome to Gemma conference. We hope you enjoyed this presentation. I just give, gave you a second example of um, where it converts the sentence, how much is 24,000 yen in euros with the function calling adapter that it uh, then converts as a a valid function call. So as the adapter said, I hope you enjoyed this presentation and that you will build a lot of multi-loras. <laughs>